I am ready. I'm ready. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Los Angeles. Uh, this is David De Los Reyes. It's February 6 here in Los Angeles, California. Okay, uh, I, I will be showing you guys uh, a, an upgrade solar panel uh, inverter. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, this cable here is coming from outside and it's connected to five solar panels. For the meantime, I will not show you the solar panels, it's outside. But uh, this is already energized. Okay? The purpose of this cable is to energize our battery. We got our battery here. <laughs> we got our battery. Solar battery. For this battery to be charged, we will connect the terminals of the cable or wire coming from the solar panels. Uh, these are the cables. Okay. Uh, this block here should be connected to the terminal of the plus battery. And this red cable here should be connected to the... Oh, the block is for the block negative terminal and the red is for the passive terminal of the battery. So in here, uh, we could not actually put it here, okay? So as soon as uh, we connect those ones, as long as the sun is uh, out, uh, it got the sunshine, the solar panels are energized, so whether we like it or not, these batteries are being charged. Uh, these batteries are charged already. So, I will show you how we will use this one. If the batteries are charged, for us to bring out an alternating current coming from these batteries, we need an inverter. An inverter like this. I got a, a sine wave inverter here, rated 1,500 watts. And this one is rated 2,400 watts. So, actually, I got two inverters. Inverter is a machine that converts direct current to alternating current. Like this one here, I will show you how. The batteries are charged now, okay? So actually, we could uh, make this inverter now alive to bring us and give us alternating current. It's something like this. It's on. Right? The other one, it's on also. So if you try to see it, the voltage coming out from this inverter is 120 volts. It's the standard voltage here in the USA. Why there is 120 volts? Uh, because this inverter here is alive. Why it is alive? Because it is being energized now by these batteries. These batteries got a charge already. It seems uh, they got a savings of energy inside already. Because uh, during the past days I energized this one. So we got the charges already here. And these are the cables connected to the inverter. It's a big cable. I think it's around number uh, 40 or something like that. Why number 40? To minimize the voltage coming from the battery to the inverter. If, if you minimize the losses in voltage, if there is 12 volt here, upon reaching the inverter, it's almost 12 volts because the Voltage trap is too small. So the requirement for solar panels is that the connection wire between inverter and battery should be big enough such that, such that we will minimize the so-called voltage loss. Okay, I will show you how we will use this one. Uh, I constructed by myself a, an LED light. Uh, I bought a lampshade, something like that. I bought a, an LED uh, lights from Home Depot or online, okay? And this is to be energized by DC bolts. So during brownouts, 
if I want to have light, supposing during brownout I got no light at home and these batteries are charged, so actually I could still be lighted up inside. How do we do that? Okay, I got the terminal of the LED lights. Okay, I will connect this to the plus, I will connect this to the minus, and I will switch it on. You see? I got the line already. <laughs> Maybe if this is fully charged, uh, it could take five days before the, it will be discharged. So other houses might not have uh, any light, but for me, I still have light. That's the importance of uh, a stand standalone upgrade solar panel power inverter, something like that. Okay? This is DC. Uh, it's being energized by the battery which is energized by the solar panels so as long as uh, this battery is charged I, I could have light DC light, right? Or on it's easy as well, something like that supposing I need an alternating current okay, I will show you how uh, I will use an alternating current coming from the inverter Uh, I, I got a mini vacuum over here. This is alternating current, 120 volts. So if I don't have any light at home because it's run off, I can still use my vacuum cleaner, okay, by using my solar inverter. I will switch it on, okay. I will plug it in, and it's ready to use, okay. The power, the power of this one is the one coming from the inverter, coming from the solar panel. Okay? So it's working. See? It's working. Even though, like your entertainment center, uh, if you plug in your entertainment center into one outlet and you plug it in here, even though it's run out, you can still watch television maybe that's the importance of this uh, this uh, solar inverter is not connected to our house it's just a stand alone it's just a backup so during the day I will charge my batteries okay I am not using it during the day. During the night, if there is brownout, I will put it on and still I got electricity. Actually, uh, this uh, frigidaire here, a red, I could plug it in here for as long as the sun is uh, shining, okay? This uh, red will be charged for the whole 24 hours because it's connected directly with this, okay? That's the importance of uh, solar panel guys. But uh, this is upgrade. It's not connected anything to our house. It's just uh, for standalone. It's just a backup uh, power supply. Okay. If I need light, I will just switch it on. That's easy. Right. It got a long light. Uh, maybe the consumption is only two watts. So if we, even though you will just use this for maybe the whole night, the battery will not be discharged. Okay. I will switch off. If I need to vacuum because it's brown out, I will switch this off. Okay. And it's now, it's now working. Okay. It's working. This is 2,400 2, watts. So actually it could, it could power up a washing machine. So if I got my extension cable, I will connect it to my uh, washing machine. That washing machine will run using this one. Okay, it's 2,400 watts. But uh, you, you need some more batteries for it to run the washing machine maybe to complete the cycle. But if it's only a small load like a small vacuum, okay, no problem. Okay, uh, that's it guys, uh, 
Uh, it will help us to minimize our current consumption if we got a backup solar energy. I did this myself. And I got five solar panels outside, rated maybe 80 watts by five. Okay, that's the one powering up my battery. Good afternoon, Los Angeles.